y'all. So I have the Christmas in July um, country Christmas page album swap back from Joanna. Um, I did look at everything because I have no self-control sometimes um, and I wasn't recording videos at the time and I've been depressed and stuff so I opened it and yeah boohoo haha -ha, so <laughs> um so let me share with you um everything that I got um this is Joanna's book so she makes the base of the book for us which is super sweet of her and she bound it and everything um with her pages and so she did all this for us which is super sweet and she used the Frank Garcia collection um the country Christmas and um, it says Merry Christmas and I love the barn. I love I love this um, and I love that there's a pop of pink um, In this collection, so she used the pop of pink with the traditional country, which I love um, I really love that so there's this tree on here that she die cutted you can barely see it But there's a tree there you can see it. There's some fencing. She has these wooden um, skis and then she has a ton of little sprigs and die cutted sprigs and she has the um, drew rope. Um, she has some pine cones and some other little sprigs and then she has some red flowers and a pink one and a little snowflake and then she like snow text everything and then she added tons of glitter as you can see. I don't know if you can really there we go. You can kind of see the sparkle. I'm trying to show you the sparkle. And then on the rings, she has this gorgeous fabric um, gingham, not gingham, is this g not gingham, uh, plaid, uh, red and white plaid. And then she has like this burlap ribbon and then she tied a little twine burlap bow with the, um, the gold jingle bells. And then she has the leaf trim, super gorgeous. Um, and she left the back plain so she also included for us so what we can do is mine probably don't fit in these sleeves because mine kind of go off the page a little bit and mine are kind of chunky so whoops but she did include these page sleeves um which i'm probably going to include some of these in this album um i was thinking about using this um for my anniversary this year and Joanna was like, why are you going to use a Christmas album? I was like, my anniversary is December 20th. So it's right before Christmas. Um, so if we have enough... Oh no, this little blingy came off. If we have enough money saved, hopefully we'll do something fun. And um, we can uh, take pictures. Um, I'm actually, hopefully, um, I'd love to go down to Peddler's Village for the light, the light show um and take some pictures with honey and do those things so um as you can see here i can put um her pages here if i would like to um you know onto the chipboard um i do plan on adding chipboard pages this size for my other pages and then i i will maybe put a couple of these in between maybe with some shakers uh, you know do a shaker um or add some other pages but for the most part my pictures I want on here and I want them you know out um I know like as a chunky album I know this will be better to probably protect them but I'll figure it out but Joanna's I'll most likely put like this on the front and back cover um and again I love that she added the pink and she has the plaid in the background um, and the hint of the collection here in this giant you know picture frame and she has the bow and she die cuts all these I love her. she's crazy about she's crazy about die cutting so here you can kind of see the glitter and the snow text on everything and the red flowers and the snowflakes and just really fun and pretty and then in this one she has the two smaller um, ovals and then a poinsettia and all these sprigs everywhere and it says the most wonderful time of the year and there's a pink poinsettia back there and a snowflake and then some like trim oh, I just love it love it love it love it and she sent a sweet card and then this was like tied to the package um, so there's a clip we can reuse a wooden snowflake and some of this um, star trim so thank you Joanna and again she sent each of us four sleeves 
so we can add those to the album as well um, and then we all had to do embellishments if we wanted to add pages um, to this um, and of course she always adds extra because that's just how Joanna is um, she likes to give back to the people who participate in her swaps um, so I'm just trying to get some of the I know I'm gonna get glitter everywhere sequins everywhere but that's okay um, uh, she did two shaker embellishments. I'm going to try to get some of the sequins back in there. Everything's sticking. Okay. So. I'm doing a video. Give me one sec. Um, I'm being paged. <laughs> so. There's some sequins in there I can reuse, and there's sequins everywhere else. So she included some of the pages from the paper collection. Um, Joanna buys her stuff in bulk, so she has tons of her stuff. Um, but it's really sweet because um, I do like this paper collection. Um, I did not get a chance to order it. Um, I'm going to look online to see if it's still available. Um, and I'd like to probably order it um, because I do like that it's a vintage country Christmas with the pink in it. Um, I think that's really cool that, you know, that's, you know, something that hasn't been really done often. Um, but I definitely love this, uh, especially the, these images. So it's really pretty. So she included some sheets of the paper for us. And then there's some, uh, some more little strips, like things we can cut out. So, super cute. Um, she included some of the wooden snowflakes she used in her album. Um, she included this really cute bag topper. Oh my god. Look how cute this bag topper is. Super cute. And I have sequins everywhere. And I'm going to save them because I use iridescent sequins on like all my projects. Come on. Cooperate. Um, and then here is her shaker. So, she did a mitten. Which, oh my god. It's sticking to me. It's attacking me. Um, there's some stuck back there. I don't think that was deliberate, but look how cute her little shaker is. And it's a mitten. This would be so cute as like a tag on a gift bag or something. I might do that. I might make these into, you know, pieces for a gift bag and use the paper. Um, but anyways, she did more of the twine, you know, the snowflake, the pink and red roses, and the greenery everything coordinates perfectly she does that like on all her stuff and then look how gorgeous this rosette is um this might be a tim holtz rosette and then she used one of those um i think these are the little they're either it's a container or these are the things that you make like the pins and the or the magnets or whatever out of um i don't remember but um they're super easy to make shakers out of and she has the she has Santa and the reindeers and look at the cute tiny little wooden stars in there isn't that adorable and I love this ribbon I love it and oh my gosh and my flashlight's on why is my flashlight on on my phone oh yeah yeah I'm so sorry um and she has tool all under here and then the jingle bell I love it okay so I'm talking too much and I gotta get to the other one. So, then, this is from Karina, who is a friend of mine, and I love her package. So here's her stuff, and I'll link everybody's info down below. She made us some bag toppers as like an extra thing, and I love it. And she did stitching. So this one says Merry Christmas. I love these big scalloped bag toppers, and this one has a flower on it. So, super fun. So, she sent those, and then um, everything was wrapped up with this really thick twine. And I have her little card. Look how cute. I love this little Santa um, hat um, die. I have it. I used it on my projects. Um, and then, here's some embellishments she made. Um, she used the little wooden pieces from Target Dollar Spot. So this one has the wooden star and it's gold and then she made a little poinsettia on top with a little snowflake center and then there's like a little brick background here with the wooden wreath 
And then again, the poinsettia with the Christmas tree. And then I think she added some red glitter to the top. Super cute, super dimensional. I love this paper. And she sent a ton of die cuts. I, I don't have the time to like go through them. But there's a ton of like ephemera and stuff from whatever paper collection she used. And she shared it with us. So thank you so much. Um, and then she also shared these really pretty um, pine cone stickers with me. I used to have these and I used them all up. So thank you so much. And I couldn't, I can't find them anymore. So thank you for this pack. I'm so happy. And then look how pretty this is. I don't know if this is like was a file folder or what because it's like really thick kind of like plasticky kind of cardstock if that makes sense and i love this like hollow marble and like look at this cute binder clip look at this like look at that look at that and then it's a red truck christmas totally country christmas i love that and here are her pages and she added the hint of pink too so everything coordinates um, even though it's different paper collections. So there's this mat here to put a picture. And she has this really pretty, like, vintage-looking ribbon. And again, she did some stitching and layering with paper and some burlap. And she die-cutted this uh, reindeer and made it rain, made him um, uh, Rudolph and added, like, a little scarf to him. Super cute. And then this one's a pocket page. She did stitching around, did stitching here. Merry Christmas. She has the ribbon again. And then she has the cute little banners up here. And again, so I can put a photo here if I want, or I can just put a photo here. And then um, remember this. So it's a nice little um, journaling card that I can also put a picture on the back. Um, you know, I can put a picture on the front, journal on the back, or put two pictures, do whatever I want. So super fun. Um, and it is double-sided, so if I choose just to not glue this to a piece of chipboard, I can decorate the back, too, with some of the stuff that she included, um, if I really want to. But, um, I don't want the pages to be, like, flimsy, so I would rather, um, either glue them together and attach them, um, but I would rather put them on chipboard so they face each other, um, because I would rather have them you know the coordinating pages face each other so I really love how she just clipped everything in this nice sturdy chipboard um, I think this was like a file folder maybe um, so really fun so love that so that's from Karina and I will put her information down below and then we have Miss Tony who is crafty purge and here is her stuff here is her pages I love her wait no her pages go no they go this way I love her pages. She stitched in gold around hers. And I just, I love it. I love the black and white with the, I love everything that everyone used like a plaid, which I love. Um, she has these really cool um, metal corners on both her pages. And then this is like a little tuck spot. Um, it's a little tuck spot so I can put a picture in there. And then she has these cute little trees. She added these little pearls too. If it will, and she, glimmered them up maybe it's like Winca Stella. I need to get that I don't have it I need it um and again same thing stitching and then she has um circle photo mats and another larger tree here that she put a bell and a bow on and she has the metal corners and then this one she popped up so it's like dimensional which I love um and she has it on craft so super cute I love it um, and she stitched the ribbon down, the trim down, so really fun. I love it. Thank you, Tony. And then Tony also, these are um, her embellishments. I love her little topper here with this reindeer. It's like, it's like a felt sticker. Look at that. Um, and it says Merry Christmas. She made a gold poinsettia, the little white pom pom centers. Look how cute. And then she has a rosette, which she has the glitter around the side and another one layered with tool and the snowflake and it says just the season and she put these little iridescent blings on the points of the snowflake super gorgeous tony i love your attention to detail and then this gorgeous glittery bag which i don't mind getting glitter look at it love it love it love it love it she had this on there 2019 love tony crafty purge love this little reindeer um, and she has some, she added some extra goodies. So she added a 
Santa vintage Santa stamp and she added some glitter and it has this um, so it's like silver glitter with um, snowflakes which I don't I did not pick up from I have didn't see this at Target so thank you so much uh, Tony for the extra goodies and I love this gold bag um, I'll have to message you and ask you where you got these um, but they're super cute um, so yeah, um, I will leave everybody's info down below and go check everybody out. Bye guys.